hello and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss a uh, widely asked uh, interview question uh, the use of fork join or the, what is a fork join and uh, the answer is fork join uh, we can use when you only care about the final output of your observable when you have a group of observable and uh, you don't care the sequence and all and you want to get the final result of all the group of observable then uh, fork join is the best choice to use so let me tell you in the example like uh, suppose uh, i have this three api i am going to use this json placeholder for the uh, uh, fake api so so when uh, i am making a call to the, all this three api and i want to uh, get the final result and uh, then only i want to subscribe so this is uh, we can say like a group of observable and i am caring about the final result then in this scenario fork join is the best choice so let's start uh, let me show the project uh, this is a project i created uh, using angular cli and also i generated one uh, demo service so now quickly uh, let me add uh, three gate method to get this uh, three api data So now my service is ready to uh, get this three API data. So let me inject my service to component. So let me open my app component.ts and here in the constructor, I can add uh, like private, then service and then I can paste it and let me quickly import it. So as discussed uh, in the earlier uh, fork join we used for group of observable. So I need to make one group. So uh, like a group we can say like array, array of observable. So maybe I can say data and type of observable and then define it will have array of any item. And this will be array, okay? And let me initialize this array. So here what I have uh, did is I defined one data as an observable array of any and now on on init life cycle, component lifecycle hook uh, what I am going to do is I am going to push all my three API service to this array of observable. So I, let's say this dot data dot push and here I am going to say this dot service dot first uh, let's say get albums let me add semicolon here let me copy this paste it here and here and now let's change this get albums to get comments and this one to get post so now i have pushed uh, uh, this three observable into this observable array now i can use fork join so let me add a fork join so this will import this fork join also let me show you so it is under rxjs so we have imported it now under the fork join i can pass my observable so this is my group of observable so let me pass this dot data and now i want to subscribe to my group of observable so let's say subscribe and uh, here the uh, let me add one debugger 
and uh, now let's say console dot log so we can say albums and then let me add one more console dot log and here I am going to log my album data so let's stringify it and then I am going to use as a item of zero similar to that let's print our comments and post data also so let me tell it like comments and this should be first index and here let's change this to post and this should be second index so now we have done with the fork join now let's open our browser and let me show you if I if you are getting the exact response or not so on in it it pushed uh, my observable to this data and uh, under the folks join subscribe i am getting this debug point so now you can see that i am getting this 0 1 and 2 three result sets for my three api call in the first result set i am getting uh, my album data and in my second result set i am getting my comments and in my third result set i am getting my post data so let's run this and let me show you this result in the console so this albums then i am getting comments and then we can see post so i hope you are able to understand when we can use folk join and you will be able to answer this question that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.